All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode. Um, today, we're going to address another oil leak issue, so stay tuned for that. Keep watching. So in the past video, you've seen me address the oil dipstick video, which was an oil leak on the passenger side over there, which was a pretty significant one. When I would get on the gas, it would spray out, I hit the headers, and puff white smoke. So we got that addressed. Uh, the only other little place that I noticed that there's a little bit of a leak, only because I messed with this sensor, is the oil pressure sensor on the back side of the TVI here. So, the little sensor right in there, it's leaking just a little bit. I put some of that, you know, like plumbing thread tape on it. And, uh, you know, I don't think uh, it's working like it should. So what I'm gonna use, let me grab it real quick. So basically I'm going to be using this high temp thread sealant instead. So we're going to screw out the sensor from, it has a little housing that screws in, so it's shaped like an L. The sensor screws in it, so I'll put some on it. I'll screw the housing out, put some on it, screw it back in first because you can't spin it with it in because it hits the distributor and all that. I'll put a picture up uh, there to the left to kind of show y'all what I'm talking about in like a 2D picture. So you'll see what I mean. So I'll unscrew all that out, put some of this thread sealant on it, screw it in, and when it dries, it should be good to go. And we won't have any more oil leaks in the general. Should be good after that. So that's pretty much what we'll be tackling on this video. So let's get to it. So here's the little jobber here. You can see the little fitting that screws into the block and this is the actual sensor. So I narrowed down the ranch sizes for you. Inch and 1 16th for the sensor. And then once you get the sensor off first, because it won't spin around with it on, then this housing is a 7 8 so you can either put a socket down on it and get it turning like that or one of these shallow wrenches. So a 7 8 gets this fitting off. So 7 8 and an inch and 16 is all you need. So we're, I'm just going to clean up the threads on both of these. Stick the glue uh, thread sealant on it and then screw it back in let it dry up and we should be good to go so let me get these cleaned up
you can see here, I found a socket for it, 7 8 So we're going to put some of this on it. Too much, too much. And then we're gonna screw this bad boy back in. All right, so there we go. We put sealant on both threads, both sides. Don't forget your connector. And you should not have any more oil leaks after that. Should be good to go. All right, so that was just a short little video on that oil pressure sensor. Um, that should fix my oil issue. So we should not have any more oil leaks in the general should be good to go now so that's all for this video uh, make sure and stay tuned for a couple more days we'll have another video out thanks for making it this far thanks for subscribing thanks for commenting below make sure and hit the bell give it a thumbs up subscribe if it's your first time and until next time keep it simple keep it sweet